Hey guys, how's it going? Nuff said here on Tuesday, June 12th, 2018, and it has been, I think, close to a month since I made a video. Um, I have just been really busy with work and I've been traveling a good amount and um, also this time of year really means one thing for me and that is my kids uh, youth sports teams and uh, both my boys play baseball and my daughter plays lacrosse and each of them are on multiple teams and that just ends up being like seven days a week um, and it's still going on which is great uh, but exhausting so. It uh, doesn't leave a ton of time for baseball card videos, um, although I have been um, trying to watch as many of yours as I can. Um, I gotta catch up um, and uh, watch a bunch of uh, videos that I've been meaning to watch. But anyhow, um, the other thing is that I haven't been buying a lot of stuff. I just have not, I've been bidding on some stuff on eBay, but haven't been winning, winning any auctions, including one last night. I bid on a card um, in the PWCC auction that ended last night. And, uh, man, I got outbid by, like, double um, what I bid for a pretty nice card. And uh, someone got a really nice uh, Jackie Robinson Leaf rookie, but, man, they paid for it. Um, so, haven't been winning anything. I bid on something in the REA auction also. Uh, didn't get it. Um, which is okay, because I'm trying to save some money. The CSA show in Chantilly, Virginia is coming up. And also, I hope to be at the National. And um, be nice if I had some money to spend at those shows. So, um, But tonight, I wanted to make a video. This is going to be uh, one of my player collections. I'm going to show you all my uh, Tris Speaker cards. And I don't know if I've shown all of these in other videos. I, I may have. Um, but figured I'd show them all together. And i got a couple other players that I collect that I might make similar videos. But... Let's just get right into this. Start with uh, this one here, which is a E91C American Caramel Tris Speaker. And this is not a very popular set uh, because the images that were used um, on these cards were used for multiple different players. So basically this same exact image, they would just change the team name and use it for someone else. So. A lot of the images don't look like the actual player, um, including this one. And this card is also just beat to hell. Um, I did not pay a lot for this card, but uh, still a Tris speaker card, so pretty cool. Next up, we have the uh, T201. Try to get it all in the uh, camera there. T201 uh, Mecca cigarettes double folder. This is Tris speaker and. Earl Gardner, their speaker there. And Earl Gardner there. Um, this is one of the earliest sets that has stats on the back, which is kind of cool. And um, Mecca Cigarettes Perfection, or Perfect Satisfaction. Perfect Satisfaction. Um, all right, so T201, Mecca Cigarettes. Next up, we will go with T202 Hassan Triple Folders. This one is uh, Tris Speaker on the left there. And Clyde Angle on the right. And um, in the middle, that panel is titled um, Angle in a Close Play. I think these T202s are kind of cool. A ton of information on the back. Um, and uh, there's another... Tris speaker card in the set that has uh, Smokey Joe Wood on the other side, and I've been looking for that one. Haven't found one that, that I like um, that's the right price yet, so searching for that one still. Do this one next. This is a 1911 E94 Close Candy Tris speaker card. This one is a PSA 2. Uh, pretty nice, too. The color is real good. It's registry. Uh, Registration is pretty nice. Decent centering. Uh, it's got a uh, nick there on the edge, which is pretty much what uh, brings it down to a two. There's also a small crease on the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and there's the uh, checklist for the set. Uh, you can get this card with a couple different color backgrounds. And there was one that went last night in the PWCC auction. 
that had a purple background, which is a lot harder to find than the red. Um, but it ended up going for over 900 bucks, so I didn't even put a bid in for that one. Um, and uh, for those of you that don't know, the, the E prefix on the uh, American card catalog designation there is for uh, candy cards, caramel cards. So anything with an E um, is a candy set. So there's the E94 close candy for speaker. Next up, we'll do the T205. This is probably my favorite uh, Tris speaker card in my collection. I really like the T205s um, in general. I think it's a really nice set. And um, hope to pick up some others. The Cobb, uh, Ty Cobb card is really nice. Uh, there is T205 speaker. That's an SGC4. Next up, we'll do the T207. And I've talked about this card in some other videos. My wife actually bought me this card at a show uh, a number of years ago, uh, which is pretty pretty cool, I think. This one has some pretty bad back damage paper loss. Um, but in higher grade, this is a really expensive card. Difficult to find. So that's the T207 speaker. Uh, next up, I got a couple team cards that have a uh, speaker in it in them also uh, this one here for speaker is right there right under joe wood um, they were very close friends and actually ended up both leaving the red sox and going to cleveland um, uh, but again this is the t200 fatima cigarettes red sox team card and there's the back i think these are pretty cool i have a couple of these i'm looking for a uh, Cleveland Americans card to add to my collection, mainly because Shoeless Joe Jackson is on that one, which is pretty neat. Next up, I just did a video on this postcard, so I'm not going to talk a lot about it, but this is the um, PC-796 Sepia postcard of Trish Speaker, obviously, and um, just got this about a month or two ago. I really like this. Um, I think I might get this graded at the National, put it in an SGC slab. Um, I don't expect it to get higher than a two. I'd be happy with a two, maybe a one and a half, but uh, these are pretty tough to find. So PC 796 there. And next up. This is a 1910 uh, team postcard, and the speaker is right there. Right with the postmark right over his jersey. Um, this postcard obviously is in horrendous condition. But uh, hadn't seen another version of that, so I had to pick it up when I saw it at a show. Uh, here's another postcard that's pretty tough to find. And the speaker is in the front there. Um, this one's from 1912 and was issued uh, during the World Series. There's a uh, New York version also of this postcard. And you can see there's some paper loss in the back there. There's tape on it. Um, but the uh, speaker appears there also. And uh, we'll do the T206 next. This is um, an SGC4. Nice color and registration on this card. The centering, it's a little bit off, and there's a crease in the corner up there. But uh, overall, a pretty nice card. I've had this for a long time. So there's the T206. And finally, today, and I've shown this one also. Uh, this is another 1912 postcard, and there's Tris Speaker in the back there. Uh, again, next to Smokey Joe Wood. I think I read somewhere that the little girl there with her hand on his shoulder, uh, that's Smokey Joe Wood's sister. Um, all right. Put that one back there. So the next speaker card that I hope to get, and I've been looking for a while, is... Um, 
a Cracker Jack speaker card, either 1914 or 1915. 1914 is significantly more expensive, but um, hope to get one of those. I've been looking for one forever and just haven't found one that's the right price and uh, the right condition. Um, so still looking for that. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please comment below. And um, if you like uh, seeing like player collection video like this, let me know and uh, maybe I'll do some more. Um, but hope everyone is doing well and um, hope to not have another month long gap in between making videos. Um, and um, I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.